Hello guys and welcome back to my Aragon campaign where the main goal is to reach 1 million income. Of course we are just getting started and right now income doesn't matter at all because the main thing right now that we're doing is conquering most of the world. Without that and without converting most of the world to Catholic this would be harder and so far we are doing pretty nice with that and even in the last episode we managed to dismantle the HRE. So today we are going to continue expanding, especially east. We are going to continue building up our country and we should switch to France slowly. I'm not sure if it will be that today, but our culture is already French and so right now we are just missing the provinces. First thing I'm going to start with is to finally get the missions. Uh, it's closer to the sea, we are missing a marketplace. I didn't focus much on checking that, so definitely we need to do so right here. And this will unlock this whole path of the missions that we didn't even look in. There we go with the mission that gives me trade efficiency for 40 years. So right now we have 200 months of mean time to happen for another event related to Consort of the Sea, which will give us 5% permanent trade efficiency which will be important for our goal but that's not all we have another mission to click here and uh, we're going to have silk in valencia what we will do right next we can get a uh, level free trade center in genoa i was planning to do that anyway and i can get 60 loyalty of bourgeoisie which i can also get pretty soon perfect now that i finish a mini war against the ottomans i can just summon the diet yes don't click anything just get this, alright, and um, 3000 ducats is actually also close to get it. I think uh, it's not that useful, but anyway, I need to, yeah, screw this, uh, I'm just going to improve this to level 3. Uh, this will unlock me another mission, permanent claims around here. Yeah, you can see we have now tons of the claims to use, same for this one. Control Venice, yeah, we will work on that as well, but with this taken, I can now seize land from the estates and this is on 55% already, we will be working on that to get that even higher. With our truce with the Mamluks ended, I'm going to attack them right away, even though I'm dealing with the rebels, I need to do so because they might join our coalition, so attack. And also Great Britain is in this war, so I'm going to go and occupy all of those. And we might think about landing over here, but we'll see how the naval supremacy will go. Okay boys, that's going to be the first try to land on the British Isles. I'm going to take this 30,000. I'm going straight to the channel, nowhere else. And we are going to land here. Uh, he has 28,000 troops, so... Yeah, I'm getting engaged immediately. But I have more heavy ships in this stack. I have my vassals running around and reinforcing this. So we are crushing the British fleet and we are getting raided because there's no one to protect my uh, my Genoa trade now from the, from the pirates. Ah, I cared a lot about landing here because now in the main peace deal I can take those provinces here without paying that much of IS expansion and though deep locos. Of course it will be double war score costs, but remember I have a lot of minuses for that and this is key because I want to get some English culture and I want to start dealing with my amount of the power points. Just for, just for now recruit some generals. So if you look on the culture you can see it's all English, maybe end step, uh, here's Cornish and here's Walsh. So I will be able to take some of those provinces and start doing it. This is four promises that I'm going to take. 50% of the war score might be costing us a lot, but with these cultures I think it should be great. Like uh, in the meantime from the Mamluks themselves I'm going to take definitely those two trade centers in Aleppo, because uh, I'm going to get here, I already got here trade companies which has 49% of the trade control. So we get that to 50 which will give us a free merchant. There goes the peace deal, 71 I can even take a little bit more but I don't care that much about taking more. British Isles are the most important, so probably instead of this province I would prefer to break British alliance with, uh, with the Mamluks here. Let's get just slightly more uh, of the war score on that. Now if my trade ship is back to Genoa I have 63% of the trade here which is great. I'm also transferring from Aleppo with my new merchant. But it seems like, yeah, it's not yet there, I need to collect here because uh, not enough trade power in Alexandria to do anything with this trade. 
So we will need to conquer those trade centers as well to make it efficient. Time for another step in expansion east. I'm going to attack RW. Yes, I took Karaman, not a problem. And again, I'm using the fact that those nations, I don't see them. So I don't have aggressive expansion on those nations. We need to exploit that as much as possible right now. In the meantime, as I'm taking care of the Middle East, I'm attacking Moscow with this one stack and potentially some of my units and vassals should be enough to take it. Of course, I have only conquest castles but because I lack my own border with them. But this one province that we are missing for Lithuania uh, will allow us uh, to them take tons of the missions with the claims on all of those areas. So declare, I'm going straight for Yazan, which is uh, not paid for it, and I will be there on 28th of December. Who goes RW? And those provinces plus Karamanese provinces. I will feed these Karamanese provinces to Byzantium. So, as uh, I'm still at war with Moscow, I wait for this peace deal for the Moscow peace deal as well. Look what is happening to the Moscow troops here. <laughs> Such a beautiful stack wave. I'm not sure if I'll be able to stack away those 40 k so I'm just moving farther to another fort. Now, from Moscow, we are going to take the claim of Lithuania. And I'm not sure if we should take anything else, it's just diplo points for that. I'm going to take reparations and money. This is all we need. And those guys are going straight back to uh, homeland because we're going to fight France in a second. And uh, these guys, uh, this is exactly what I wanted to piece out for them. I can also embrace my institution and with those provinces court, I can uh, state them. Yes. Spend some of those. Of course, I just uh, wasted like 15 mil points on that, but it's okay. And I'm going to start deving those provinces because uh, encourage development. Of course, first of all, get rid of the devastation, no more devastation. Yeah, it's okay. So right now, we're going to uh, devil these provinces even for this tap as much of military military as I can, and then up to 20 because we have uh, tons of those power points. They want to spend more, we have still a lot of uh, admin points, and one more time. So right now, English culture, just by this is 6% of my development, and I'm just getting started with conquering those provinces. So that's our goal, I'll be forming France, and then I'll switch my main culture to English when I get all of those provinces, and I develop them, because I'm planning to develop them anyway. Look, Great Britain just doesn't want to stop right now, they are freaking guaranteeing France instead of killing them. So I guess I'm just going to cross them again and white peace. And it will even shorten my truce, right? Yeah, our truce is 10 years, so just shorten it to like 6 from now. We can white peace Great Britain already, and this is going to be white peace because, as said, main faction of this is to shorten the truce. And right now, from the France, I will be able to take a massive peace deal because they are reformed, so I'm getting a really minimal expansion on everyone around. And as you remember, I need Orlean from them. And in general, as many provinces as possible, I would be able to fully annex them. But on the cost of 150 angles expansion, so slightly too much on my numbers right now. Yeah, to be honest, I can do that. I can totally do that. We also are a lot of nations over here that would be joining. But I can crush... This seems like a big coalition, but tons of those nations can already join. So it doesn't matter. I could just, to be honest, improve relations with a few nations like Dortmund, uh, Brunswick, Denmark. I'll just improve with them and then I'm going to peace out France. It's all good. And to mitigate that furthermore, I need to attack my current collision, which is just a few countries. It shouldn't be a problem and I think I'm going to go after Tlemcen as uh, they don't have any of their own allies. And yeah, just go and stop them. It's all good. Uh, just go straight there and why well, white piece of them or something? Just take something, uh, you know, not related to this expansion to have a long truce. This is the best news of this episode. I finally became the papal controller. I was spending all of my points that I was getting uh, from converting the provinces. So finally got to this. And if you go to the peace with France, way less countries will join it right now. It's amazing news. And uh, I'm just going to enact the Golden Bull the first time for a long time. I can get Korea power cost, area absolutes, which we don't need, but understanding Catholic provinces will be great. Uh, institution spread, we already have the institution, or death cost. Death cost is definitely the way to go. And uh, 
we can actually piss out France right now. If it's just those countries that would join the coalition and we are attacking most of those countries already. So let's go for it. Is it a full annexation? Or is France? No, France is in the new world. Take it. This is the full annexation. Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. France cannot exist if he wants to form it. Just fully annex it. There we go. And we should finish those wars ASAP because uh, I need to feed most of those princes to Brittany. And uh, I don't want my country to implode from the rebels. But it will be just here. It's alright. It's just as a comment. I just need to court this, court this, and this. Because to this province, the Britannia cannot get. And the rest I want to give to Brittany. Because you will see why later. It's all under control. I might be having millions of rebels uh, getting into my country. But look, like now I'm going to piss out those guys. I'm going to get some money. And I can get the war reparations. So it will give me... 8 years of truce with those countries. Okay. Pissing them out right now. And we still have a bunch of coalition members. I'm going to attack, but first I'm going to feed Brittany with as many provinces, with as many provinces as possible here. But of course, uh, after I finish this war as well, just look, uh, players map out is one thing, but another thing is my overextension. It's 214. We need to get Brittany help with that. Now that I fed them with all of those provinces, uh, I'm going to core the rest by myself. 126 over the extension scene, and I need to get back this province and all the rebels, and uh, then deal with this coalition, which shouldn't be a problem, but it's definitely going to be annoying. I should probably already uh, attack them in a second. I'm also creating a new stack of 1402, which is more like operational stack for the rebels, uh, for the fights. Why this stack is the main stack to siege down the provinces? Took us some time and it was mainly analing, but I pretty much took care of all the rebels. Uh, right now, Britain will be having uh, another amount of this, and I'm not calling this province because I'll just give it to Brittany as soon as it calls uh, one of those few. Because it's ongoing. We are also losing the innovativeness right now, and as I'm not gaining much of these points, I'm going to take the military technology. The administrative one, yeah, we have power points for that. I'm going to take the administrative. And here, we need to choose between administrative ideas, expansion ideas, and economic ideas. Because in the long term, I need to take all of those free uh, for my build. Uh, but I think at this point, uh, I'm going to get the administrative ones. Not even much about the co-creation cost because I have the power points, but more about the governing capacity. Britain is now court another province. I can give them Auvergne. Uh, Grant a province so I don't have to core it and I will not have to core it ever because of my strategy. Uh, it looks beautiful. Uh, coalition is dissolved for now, but of course all of those countries are in danger of joining it again. So I need to probably deal with uh, countries like Kaku and Lumba, but I mainly think about Persia. Because Persia has a couple of claims and cores around which we might use when we vassalize them. So uh, let's declare the war. Just cancel this guy, declare, show superiority, let's go for it! There goes Persia, so set vassalization, I can take our land by the way, uh, some money, and we have our another vassal, you can see I, I'm granting Hesse, that's a waste of power points, uh, please stop doing so, uh, just instead of improving with uh, Salzburg. This is a huge waste of power points. I didn't see that, to be honest. Anything more stupid than that? No, I don't think so. See, four guarantees are just nine on seven. This is great. And now we have a ton of possibilities here. Starting with Reconquest Castle's Belly on the Timurids. My truce with Great Britain just ended, of course. In the meantime, conquering tons of princes for Persia. This would be a super powerful vassal. So for Great Britain, I'm attacking them because I'm missing only Paris, if I remember it correct, to form France. So let's get ready to kill them. I don't have claim on Paris anymore. I lost the claim. It's okay. I just pay Diplo points. But it's going to be Conquest Castle's belly. Of course, they immediately forming the coalition back again. But to be honest, I don't care about that at all. Now we can peace out... Uh, Great Britain is not mentioned, I only need Paris and uh, I'm just going to break the relations with Bohemia and uh, Sweden and Pope would be also good. Uh, 
but I guess I will just do that. Because I could separate this Bohemia, right? But it's also a main uh, war score factor here. It's just going to do exactly this. He's an out. Now I'm going to core Paris. And when I core Paris, we are going to form France. Now, before I form France, what I'm waiting for is the event from Cool Side of the Sea that will give me 5% permanent trade efficiency, which I'll need in the long term. So, before that, I'm not changing my tag. So, in the meantime, I'll be conquering gold's claims of my vassals, Lithuanian Muscovy and Persian Khorasan, which should be just help me expanding rapidly to 3000 development. Most important thing in managing your, maybe not even like an expansion, but coalitions are the truces. As you can see, those guys, they can't join the coalition, but for the next year. Those guys cannot join it for the next six years. So I have a couple of new guys that are joining it and I need to deal with them right away, especially with the Mamluks, and I don't want to deal with those guys also in the coalition and those guys as well. So what I'm going to do is to attack the Mamluks together with the coalition for the Holy War and to have a single army to deal with them because I am in Khorasan, I'm in Russia and I'm here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to deal with those uh, two wars and then I'll deal with the Mamluks. But most important thing here is to stop the others from joining the coalition. Finally took care of the Mamluks uh, and Russia. You can see from the Russians we took those provinces, few over and money. From the Mamluks I'm taking all the provinces to get border with Tunis and Lemshen and money. I need border with them because we need to stop them from raiding us finally, right? And also I love this uh, Aragonese Persia font. Now as my coalition is dissolving, what I definitely have to do is to attack one of those guys that can join it already. Because if you go to the Truces map, what you can see Mamluks can't, Muscovy can't, Great Britain can't, but sooner or later they will be able to join the coalition. So what I have to do is to attack Tunis and Lemshen, and uh, it's protected by the Mamluks, oh for real, uh, what about Lemshen? Yeah, so we're going to attack Lemshen, and we are going to feed Portugal with a couple of those princes. Of course I'll take them for myself because I have the claims, but I'll feed that into Portugal. This reform is pretty important for us because we can see we are close to our governing capacity. So when we pick uh, over here this one, uh, you can see that right now we have a, a lot of free space which will be even increased when we get the last administrative idea. It looks pretty decent right now and we are able to both from France and attack England. The problem is I'm still waiting for the event for 5% trade efficiency and it's mean time to happen I think it was 5 years ago. So we are already quite unlucky with that, but I need this event. But it's also not that much problematic, it's just about unlocking better missions of France. And actually there's coalition forming on us again, uh, so what I definitely have to do is to attack Great Britain right away, because they might be wanting to join our coalition. So I will go for conquest. Mm, I want to conquer those lands anyway. Uh, but yeah, let's just go for conquest. Uh, for ourselves, why we will be going straight to London. There comes peace with the Great Britain. I'm not going to take anything in Europe yet because I, I want to form France first to have course on these provinces. I want English culture because later we'll be switching to it. So that's exactly what I'm taking. And on top of that, I need war reparations. And they actually start, stopped uh, accepting my peace deal. So I guess I'll just take a little bit. Yeah, this is a going battle here. Mm, and another ongoing battle. 94-95. I just love why they're changing their minds. Yes, and maybe money. No, I'm just freaking peace this out. So now we have even more of English cards in our country. You can see it's already uh, accepted. And we're going to increase that steadily to 50%. As I got rid of the potentially the strongest member of the coalition, the rest of the coalition is just dissolving, so not have even to fight them. So this is like, you are managing truces, you are attacking the right countries, and you don't have to deal with the whole gigantic coalitions thanks to this. Finally guys, we came from France! The Book of the Consulate of the Sea. Found the manuscript, it gives me 15 government reform progress, okay, but look at the process below. It's all permanent. Trade efficiency, which is goal for our home run over here. Global trade power, okay. Prestige, okay. Deep tech cost, okay. So I'm going to take this, obviously. And as we did that, I'm just double checking if we can click anything more. Yeah, we can't. Time to form 
Brands. I'm a little bit scared what will happen. Format. We don't want new ideas because as mentioned a few times, trade steering and trade efficiency are the bonuses that we are looking for. So no, we are not abandoning our roots. And now, if you look over here, we have new missions, even though we kept our ideas, right? Guardian's ideas, French missions. And there are two missions in here that are giving us trade efficiency, which you're going to click later. And on top of that, look how many cores we received and claims in this region. And I'm going, of course, to use that. And what is the most interesting, I have cores on my own vassal. So annexing them will not cost me like 900 or something it's just 200 for those few provinces and i'm going to even uh, give them more provinces around here so they will be really cheaply to in integrate later from burgundy as my access expansion is quite big around i'm going to only take my course so those three provinces remember it's still 11 14 and 11 of development it's quite a lot i'm going to break the relations with prussia and uh, probably also leash no not leash i'll just uh Take slightly amount of money on top of that. Nice, just recovering my beautiful course. I also just stated all the English provinces, and you can see English culture is already 14% of mine. Uh, I'm going right now to get the development edict, and I'm going to develop manpower in all of those three provinces because we have a lot of points over the over the normal limit. So I'm going to do it in this state slightly more, and uh, I think for that it'll be it. This state is pretty nice to develop, and right now it's even 15. We will be slightly increasing that and then we'll be probably have this state, a few of the states, but it's not a problem at all. From the next war with the Mamluks, I'm taking Mecca to get another uh, missionary. This will be six missionaries already. Look, of course, uh, all of the money, so we always keep a lot of that. And French Levant just looks beautiful. And of course, I also attacked Tunis. It is just basically the last stand of the raiders. I need to get rid of them because it's just too annoying. Another war that I'm finishing today is against Muscovy. I think it's the second one today. I'm getting all of the cores of Lithuania, so we took all of them right here. They are a thick nation, same as we are thick. This look is, I would say it's a mini Roman Empire in 1597. So I'm pretty happy about that, especially that I can finish my admin ideas now, which increase my admin capacity to 1.4 thousand, and it's way better right now. And this technology cost me 345, so we'll get back in that quickly, especially that I'm going to get some bonus from Spy Network in Hungary. It's already giving me 1.8% cheaper tech and I will get it even higher. So guys, I think uh, this will be all for today. We've played 30 years, we managed to get the permanent bonus to the trade efficiency today, we managed to delete those of the coalitions which would be problematic if not the right actions and I hope I was helped with that. I will soon finish the annexation of Byzantium. I vassalized and fed Persia a lot. I formed France and I'm on my way to change my culture to English. So at the end of the game I'll be able to form Great Britain. But of course for now I'm not planning to kill them. Uh, because I need them to start colonizing. They start co the colonizing a little bit of Africa etc. And I need to then start colonizing here. I, by myself, I should probably start helping uh, those coil nations to conquer something in this region. So for today, guys, I think this will be all. You can see we have 3.6 thousand development in the Great Power Stab. But of course, we've got another half of our subject development. That's 5 thousand that we have, which for this century, I think is perfect. Especially that we are getting into absolutely soon, which will even make us conquer everything quicker so for today thank you so much for watching if you still like this video remember to leave a like and comment it and i will see you soon subscribers